group alleges Oriyomi Amzat of escaping to Paris to evade EFCC arrest over 998 million naira exercise book scam. Hello everyone, welcome to New Sport TV. A social economic group in Oyo State grassroots for Itesiwaju Ipinleoyo has alleged that an Ibadan based controversial radio presenter Oriyomi Amzat has escaped to France to evade arrest by the Economic Financial Crimes Commission EFCC over his involvement in the 998 million Naira exercise book scam awarded to him by the Oyo State Government. Grassroots for Itesiwaju Ipile Oyo, which raised the alarm in a statement on Sunday, issued by its convener, Dr. Belo Razak, urged Oriomi to seek forgiveness over his outburst against opposition in Oyo State. It could be recalled that review of the Oyo State open contracting portal done by Datafight has shown that secondary school notebooks contract worth 998 million naira and awarded between August 2019 and December 2020 have been subject to contracts inflation, fraudulent contract bidding and contract ambiguity. The contract awarded in three batches is to supply customized notebooks to secondary schools in the state. The first set of 12 contracts totaling 458 456 million 504,000 was awarded on August 28, 2019. The second set was awarded in June 2020 with a total value of 94 million naira and described as production of second batch exercise work for students of public secondary schools in the state. The third set awarded in December 2020 at 446 million was for the supply of 212,505 copies of 60 leaves notebooks. The description stated that the notebooks are meant for the 2020-2021 session of public secondary schools in the state. But the statement further said it was true for someone to get insane if he sees money that be that's beyond his mental capacity, saying the recent video of Oriyomi campaigning for his paymaster and calling other candidates' names reflected his poor understanding of ethics of a noble profession of journalism. The group alleged that it has information that men of e EFCC had in last week, Monday, visited his office with the aim of picking him up, but he has travelled before their arrival, based on the advice of the state governor. According to the group, the days of Oriyomi in flaunting ethics of journalism are numbered as he continues to display his foolishness in Market Square. Citing examples of his unprofessionalism, the group said somebody who entered a radio studio to switch off microphone during a live program because the guest was exposing rot in the present administration in the state, passing judgment on a case that has not been decided by competent courts has exposed Oriomi as misfits masquerading himself as a journalist. The group, therefore, urged EFCC and other relevant security agencies not to relent in haunting those who were involved in the case and ensure that they were brought to book in due course. Let's take some comments. Oriomi Amzat is a good man. Another person said, um, then, then do why you with the money way before book. You come, they call EFCC to bring all involved to book again. Now book, they use cost them ni. Another said, he's a thief. You will later blame politicians. EFCC will do the needful. Another said, ah, human. God himself said it that he created us. His heart is broken and is bitter. Because Amza traveled out, he has embezzled contract money. God, please do Another said, Nigeria, if somebody really wants peace in Nigeria, don't involve business with government. Don't go against any political parties in Nigeria. Don't join politics because um, what brings you up will bring you down. The nation, state governments and local governments. They go save Nigeria. Another said, so with all this ground, TV exposing evils of the society, E2 is full of his own. Full bags of evil. Chai. Who do you rely on as champion of the masses? You must come back to answer questions. Another said, You see, this is the problem with tribal mark people. The Okolasi, the Arokiano Aroki. 
No be once the contract was awarded. If the first time na mistake, if the second award was mistake, then she the third award na still mistake. Abba or your state people na be compound mutula. Nobody should disturb us. Okay, another person said, faceless group. Another said, African people, we are wicked. No love amongst ourselves. One word or re any con, come as she that done, you know, you know, mama be everybody. That means, you know, when somebody is doing good, he seems to have a lot of enemies. Another said, is this really true or they are just trying to bring him down due to his tenacity initiative? Well, that is ha the hazard of what he's doing. Another said, we shall know the truth and the truth will set us free. Another said, Oriyo means and isn't clean. Let him come out and explain himself. Another said, a lot of people are just very envious of this man called Oriyo Miamzat and they want him down by all means. But God no go agree. Okay, so those are the few comments that trailed this group um, called Grassroots for Itesiwaju Ikmileiko that has alleged that Oriyomi Amzat has escaped to France to avoid the arrest by the EFCC over involvement in the 998 million Naira exercise book scam allegedly as awarded to him by the Oyo State Government. Uh, we just hope that, you know, he'll be able to clear these allegations with evidence of what exactly has transpired between him and the Oyo State Government, how the contract went from the bidding of the contract to the execution of the contract, the stages of the contract, and also all the other allegations of padding or inflating the cost and everything. So we hope to be able to hear from him as soon as possible or from his lawyers as they allege that he's actually not in town, um, but said that, you know, he's run away to avoid um, being arrested. Oriya Miyamzat is known as a human rights activist who has been fearless and bold about issues in the society that has to do with injustice to humans and all of that. So, what's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. See you in the next video. Have a lovely day. May God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.